Now, how are we going to address this problem right here? I have come up with quite a few theories, and my plan is to basically embed a power head into the back of those rocks right there. And the plan is to conceal it as much as possible. We might see it a little bit, and the power cord will be hidden somewhat with all the pipe work in there, so I'm not too worried about it. And the plan is to kind of have several... Well, that is awfully dark in there for this. There are several jets will point through that hole. There'll be a fan of directional jets pointing along the bottom underneath all those rocks. Uh, two point to the left and the right. Hopefully that generates a, a current to run around the back of the tank or on the front. And then I'm going to have two angled, maybe three angled, um, obliquely this way, move the camera, and same goes through this way. And that hopefully should cause the settling of the detritus to move around and eventually get back into, let's get back in here, the FX6 outlet right in there. So hopefully that's the plan. Okay, so this is the new power head or yeah, I guess it's a power head pump uh, that I picked up. It's 196 gallons per hour, I believe. So the solution is hopefully this will help push that around to get into the outlet over there. As described in the update video that I was planning. So I ran out of CPVC pipe. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of came up with this. So the idea is these two on the top are going to point down. And they're going to go somewhere in the back of the rocks in here. And the idea is they'll push water kind of down this direction. And then this pipe right here is hopefully going to be positioned somewhere under here. Yeah, somewhere under there. And it should kind of cause current to go up here and hopefully agitate it. And then these two side ones are basically just going to shoot the water to the left and to the right. It might look like it's going to defeat the purpose of flowing water past the outlet, but I think it's not going to really be that big of a deal. Uh, 106, 198 gallons per hour or so is, is rated. I think this should work. It should do what it needs to do. So I'm going to put it in, and then I'm going to keep an eye on it, and we'll get a quick video of it working to see what happens when it turns on. So Playco just kicked, they're fighting over the rocks in there, probably presumably fight, fighting for the flow area. And this is really hard to see, I bet, on this camera. Do my best here, do my best. And check this out. It is going up into the water column, if we can even see this. There's hope. There's definitely hope for this. I bet if I went in there and kicked it around, it probably might actually do exactly what I'm looking to do, especially when I change this spray bar up here. So <clears throat> basically here's what's going on, guys, is the device is installed. The power output is not what I near expected. I really honestly was, was expecting to be kind of blown away with too much flow. And as you can see, I, and part of this is due to there's a lot of holes, probably diverting the pressure. That's pointed down, and the sand's not even really moving. But you can see, if this lens will let me do it, that Marisma ball piece stuck on, I think, a piece of um, micro sword. And I've got the jets in here. Oh, come on, out of the way. Those are pointing down. Now when you put your hand next to them, you can feel them push the water around. Uh, in fact, here's a, a primal example right here, time example. So some of this is getting now blown around by the spray bar pushed down and then it's moving just enough over. But as you can tell, it's just not 
Oh, come on. Not fighting enough right there. That guy right in the back. Just not enough current to keep it going that direction. So my goal is I actually really wanted that. So if that duckweed got down into the current, which is right in line with that jet, is it should have blown it way over here is the idea. So definitely two things have to happen. One is I'm going to take those top two things off. That's for sure. And I'm going to move them down to the bottom, all three, as far as I can go. And so I'm going to have to pull the rocks away, unfortunately. So the poor Placos in there and their home are going to change just a little bit yet again to hide that. And then hopefully that should do the trick. And I'm just going to probably take this directional jet off. Because if it moves the sand around a little bit, I'm not exactly concerned about that. So there's hope. And I'm just going to kind of leave it running and maybe see if the fish activity will kind of make it move around a little bit. Here we can look at the roots right there. I know there's something, but it's kind of hard to see. I think that's in focus. So those roots were sitting against the wood and now they're kind of pushing out away. So, I mean, we have current. And, and we even have more activity going on here. This was not normal. This duckweed right here getting pushed down and stay, taking way longer to go up. This is not normal for the original setup that was in here. So that is the update to the, I don't know, the fix of the ARSS 2.0 issue, which is flow above the sand. And I suppose I could put a two power head or, or one power head off in the corner. Um, there's some ideas. In fact, I could probably put the device literally over here and have it pointed at the glass. And, and that might actually be a thought because I don't think we're going to really notice it over there too much. So we're going to keep playing with it. And I'm going to keep doing the variations. And I will do a video once I figure out what actually did work. And then we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.